Greetings and salutations of all dwellers. Hello, it's time for another D wait, what are we doing? Camp ratings. We're doing camp ratings today. The, the deeds and cheers payout shows tomorrow and that's for entropians. I've been doing a lot of live streaming. I, I, I just finished Final Fantasy 7 remake on normal difficulty and that was pretty fun. I hope I unlocked hard, but uh, I don't know if I'm going to be streaming that too much more. So we got Intergrade to do and Crisis Core Final Fantasy 7. So what are we looking at right now? Did you like the video? <laughs> Did you enjoy the last video <laughs> where I told you to like like every five seconds? <laughs> yeah, that, there, there's a reason behind that. What are, what are we looking at? What is this? Why does this look so... Is this a... I don't... Is this a... I don't know. This has to be like a... Put together. This is kind of well put together. This is not bad. Whose camp are we at? We're at Wolf Shadow 962. It's very dingy. I will give it that. But the dinginess is probably just... Yeah, this is definitely a raider camp. Because they don't care. An outhouse door. Oh my god. It's an outhouse that's actually a nice bathroom. How can you live with yourself? That's pretty good. And it's not just one, but two. Two decorated bathrooms. It looks so dingy, but yet so... So pleasant at the same time. And there's even a magazine rack. You know, that's that's smart thinking right there. You get not one, but two magazine racks. You can, you can talk to each other through the, the bathroom stall. If you're like really weird, you'd probably look looking between the cracks. But uh, I, don't, I don't know what to say too much more about that. This is, this is actually built. It looks like it's built. It's built. Built to be like very ugly. Which is good, which is good, and it it I I love it because it's like completely fortified all the way around. Absolutely good job. This is good. This is really good. I like this. And it's a little bar area, and like you got slot machines. Wow, man. This is really good. You got this right in here as a wall. This is two different items. But you're using it as just one wall. Hey, hey. Holy smokes. Uh, I can forgive this. Why is this ramp? They have a ramps? Uh, oh my. Look at this guy's bedroom. For his, his, his ally. Oh god. Oh my gosh, there's like a little area to just like pull security or just hang out and chill the cigarette machine come out here and smoke smoke your cigars and cigarettes and yeah there's even a cigarette thing yeah come out here and potentially burn this entire camp down good job um whoa yeah for for it being so dingy and so good I have nothing but good things to say about this look at that they even got like a whole music musical section this is pretty amazing ho hoshi no care no care hoshi no cares I don't care either well wolf shadow I'm I'm here to tell you uh, as a themed raider camp little getaway we even got defenses as well wow wow I'm, I'm gonna give you like an eight maybe an eight and a half an eight and a half this is pretty really I like this it's really fun to look at there's a, like a lot of things to, to, to go and look at I like I, I just like the way you put everything together 
definitely have like oh man yeah this is really good eight and a half eight and a half solid solid it might be higher it might be lower it depends on what you the viewer my dear viewer uh, if you have anything to say about this first camp and you go ahead and make your, your your things known in the comment section below after you like the video and if you're gonna be a really p big pal go ahead and share it out how about that yeah the discord and Twitter and next camp we're moving we're moving to the next camp because I do not Akira, we're, we're, we're gonna go visit uh, this camp right here. This camp belongs to... Hoshina Kakira. Look, I'm trying here. I am, I, I am not the best at the names. But I can try. Uh, Witham? I don't know. I don't know. You can see th you can see through everything. It's like a glass house. Well, at least it has defenses. We're we just gonna go all the way around. Okay, we got the the stuff on the outside. Yeah, we set up over here, and we can probably go to town with that. Good def defenses. It's not floating, which is a, a good plus. And these, these things being raised as high as they are, they actually prove to be kind of defensive, believe it or not, against rocket attacks. I should know. I should know. Not, not completely, though. I mean, you're still going to get your, your stuff wrecked. But... Hmm. So what's in here? Get a little, little section for all the... You, know, you got decorations all over the place. Kind of looks kind of fancy. Got a little ninja turtle on the top of the piano, some ducks. Oh, that'll make it a great uh, cartoon. Like ninja turtles and, and meets ducktails. Your grand piano experience. All right, we got a lot of decorations here. Got this little frog in here. Is it, yep, it has enough holes in the top. All right, what we got here? A nice immaculate bathroom with some immaculate wall fi fixtures and a mirror. Okay. Uh, uh, a nice little yeah. This is pretty good for a game room. At least, at least, uh, at least the bathroom doesn't have windows. Higafis. <laughs> um, not a bad, not a bad uh, little room here. This is definitely for a big square house, I guess. Huh. Nice little kitchen. Yeah, it literally has everything you need. It's places to sit down, all this stuff in here. You got even a TV room. Oh yeah, you can watch TV. I mean, I, ha I have to wear glasses so I wouldn't enjoy watching TV here. I usually like to take a load off, take my glasses off, and watch, like, the anime, but, uh, you know what? This isn't too bad. This isn't too bad. I'm not gonna give it too high of a score, though. Um. Maybe I should, though. It definitely has a lot of decorations here, and it des definitely looks pretty good. I'm gonna give it a 7. Like a seven and a half. It's definitely it's definitely good. On the good scale. I don't know if it completely blows me away, but it, it definitely is good enough to almost get me there. I don't know. Maybe I'm being a little bit too uh you know judgmental. <laughs> Speaking of judgmental, we're at our next camp, and I have this feeling. I got this feeling that we're about to get judgmental. Or just mental. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. Mm-hmm. Little sign that says, go over here, go over here. She's pointing everywhere. 
Uh, is this like some defenses? Yeah, you gotta defend against that train yard down there. This is pretty interesting. Does it have a roof? It has a roof. Wait a minute. Why well, do you got stairs here? Is there something cool you're trying to hide? Okay. Oops. You got, you got girl in the 70 CR. Yeah, okay. Commander did gear ear. Uh, the floor suck. The walls suck. Wallpaper wise. Very dingy. This is the dingiest you can get, huh? Well, you got something going on over here. There's no wall here. It's just bare bones in it, huh? No wallpaper. So it is a brick house, but like it's one room of everything you need. And at least you got some plants in here. But, I mean, come on. These windows don't actually have windows in them. They don't have glass. Okay, so all the oxygen that you would be getting from these plants is just going out your window. There's too many windows. It's, you, 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 it'd be like sleeping outside, but like at least with the roof over your head. You might actually get wet, especially right here. What is on the other side of this? There's some, I just saw some. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you got a little picnic table very far away from anything. I don't understand. Are you trying to, to scarecrow the hell out of things? I, I don't get it. I don't get it. You, know, you can have art. You can have modern art. But uh, you just have two pieces. Okay, maybe three pieces. It, it, I don't get it. Let's see if we win some money. If I win some money, this camp gets a plus one. Ugh. There we go, we lost money. Well, um... Gonna give it a... Four really just comes to mind. At least it does have the decorations. And this is Johan3043. I'm going to give it a 4. I might be able to fight it with the 4.5, but it's, 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 it just it needs more. It needs a lot more. Hi. Your camp gets a 4 out of 10. It needs, a, it needs more rooms. It needs more rooms. That's all i got to say about that. But on 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 the on the plus side, at least you have some place to live. There's a lot of people out here homeless. Bunch of homeless hippies, man. Smoking all the smoking all the the good stuff and not sharing any with me. I'm going to another camp. Ooh, it's just this is popping in. Oh, this is gonna be big. It's gonna be huge. Huge, I, I tell ya. Alright, we're at our next camp. So, who, who owns this? Semper Fidelis. F Fidel? Semper Fidelis? I don't know what that means. I was in the army. But, I, I, I didn't... I didn't speak weirdness. Ah, uh, it's one of those way too big for its britches camps. At least it's not floating. Well, it is kinda... Kind of really big. This is a nice spot spot to make a really flat camp, huh? And got a few little outside goodies. Ooh, maybe if I can grab some of this, maybe I'll actually cook it this time instead of just like letting it sit in my inventory. Maybe pick up this raw fertilizer. Fertilizer. All right, it's too big. You can at least wall some of the stuff off make a room out of it Ben says just one big room okay now that's crazy that's actually pretty interesting you put you put it like that you know what all we got here 
Alright, an extra. Oh um, man, it's just way too much. And see this right here? You almost had it. You just had to extend it by one more. Just use one more and you'd have safety rails. But no, you want to be weird. And what's this? Why, why is your power cord going right through here? That's, you're going to have to wire that differently. I don't want, like, to walk through a freaking power cord. Are you trying to do electrocute me? Bro, you're going to electrocute somebody? Right at the stairs, you're going to electrocute them. They're going to fall down the damn stairs. You're, you're going to be suitable for a li liable uh, lawsuit or something. You'll be held liable for killing someone by electrocuting them and saying, This is a death trap. It's not even a good trap. Just it just sets you apart from at least your bathroom has why does your bath room have smoke coming out of it? I just okay, I've never seen this before, but this does not look safe. <sighs> your bathroom probably stinks. And it's not coming from the toilet, it's coming from the shower. What the hell man? Bro. Okay, well, and then, then, I mean, you don't have any privacy for anybody that's coming here sleeping. You just have them just, whatever, okay. Alright, and now the third floor. Hey, there's something in the middle. Actually, this actually looks pretty nice. But it looks like it got all sorts of technology up in here. And all the stuff, but, uh, I don't know, it just... Still, just seems like this is way too big. But at least, at least she got a hot tub doing the floors up. I'm really curious though. What what is causing? What is causing smoke to come in, the, in into the shower? It has to be something. It's this. It's this thing right here. Like, did you place this thing literally to make make smoke come out of your shower? Because it's just not safe. I don't know. You're just trying to kill people. I, I, I'm going to condemn this place. But I'm also going to give it a score. Of about a four. And a half. Because that, that bathroom was pretty interesting. Especially with the smoke coming out of it. But the safety issues. You know, I, I would have gave it a five. But there's safety issues here. It cannot be ignored. Not to, not to mention there's like robots that could really just damage everything. All right, that that's all I got. To, oh well, well look at that. It's actually already condemned. So I there you go, there you go. I'm right, I'm right, and it's condemned. We're, we're gonna do another camp. All right, we're at the next camp. I'm really grateful we haven't run into some really bad camps this time around. I mean, it's still going to be a bad camp rating, but oh, what the, do we have here? All right, who who owns this? This is Gray Solo. It's like Gray Poupon, the John. All right, this seems like a shoots and ladders type situation going on here. What is the dealio with just the open floor plan? Like somebody rocketeered your base like mid build and you just went, actually that looks pretty good. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, let's well, Okay, I get it on this. This is actually pretty, pretty good. I like the concept. You got the safety rails coming through here to make the illusion of a big giant window. I could support this. I, I think we've done something like this once before on one of our, our, our floating camp builds in the middle of the sky for trap camp three and killing people, but we had a nice little downstairs little area with a big, big area just like this. So that's pretty good. With the icicles too. We actually had icicles on it too. That kind of brings me back. Rincewind was in the video. We used to do capture, wait, what was it called? Princess in a Tower. Yeah, back when Nuka Cola Riley was rocking around in the videos. Yeah, good old times back then. Good old times. I'm still, I'm still working on the outside. All right. Gray solo. All right. 
Oh, I don't know. I do kind of. At least they got stairs going through. So this outside area, it's it's very, very open. Uh, I wish I could get around to this a little bit better, but I, I guess I can. Uh, all right, I'm I'm kind of good. Like it does it. it, it, it this is kind of nice. I don't know why. What's up here? What's up here? You gotta, you gotta do. I don't know why you're putting things in the way of the stairs. So you're really like knocking away fluid mu movement, and it's kind of, kind of annoying me just a little bit. Fluid movement should is actually very important when it comes to a camp, and just having stuff in the way. See, I'm, I'm blocked. I'm pressing the controller, and I'm pressing through. It, it, it kind of blocks up a little bit. Fluid movement. You need more fluid movement. Let's see. Oh, hell yeah. All right, let's check out in here. All right, it is a prefab, but this, uh, in times like this, prefabs are absolutely okay when you have a lot of built up struct, player built up structures. Okay. A lot of built up structures around a prefab is absolutely okay. I will accept it, and it looks nice on the inside. So. Oh yeah, you got the actual Iron Mountain Forge rocking up in here. Very good, very good gray solo. This is not bad. This is actually pretty good. Uh, bottom floor right here. Uh, why? Where? Where'd you get the seal of the President of the United States? All right. Ooh. Oh, oh to Nuka Cola. Mr. Pebbles and the American Way. And you know what? I'm going. I'm going to say that yes. I'm going to say yes. This is this is good safety railing, right here. This is absolutely good safety railing. I, I wish it would have get pushed back a little bit more, but the most dangerous part of it it has been covered. So yes, good safety railing right here. Um, mm, yeah, we're just gonna ignore ignore that nice little area right here. But yeah, you're good. You're good. Oh no, I got good things to say about this camp. I like I like the this nostalgia wall right here. This big old window. It just brings me back. And look, it's starting to get dark. Oh look at how beautiful that is. Wow. I mean sixteen times the detail, but I mean you know, I love looking at sky in video games, especially whenever it looks nice. I don't I don't know why people, you know, give this game such a, a bad bad review, but uh I mean 76 is is actually always been good for me uh well at least the visuals it's just it is what it is the controls i like the controls too but they charge way too much for their camp items i don't know i'm i'm willing to go high with this camp mostly because i i actually kind of like it um but it does have some of those discrepancies like uh, fluid movement and things going for it. So I got to give it a 6 out of 10. But definitely, this is definitely above average. Um, maybe a 6.5. Still, I, I, if you take down some of the defensive, defenses that are in the fluid movement way... You could probably afford some more decoratives and you could probably get a higher score. That's right. To get a higher score, uh, defenses got to be taken down a notch. Then, I don't know. But it's, it's, it's good. It's good. It's, it, 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 it's above average. I think we got time for one more. Oh, boy. Is this one of the pre existing structure camps? So it better be like highly decorated. It really needs to be. I mean, we we are looking at like a, a good flag. You know, actually, this is pretty cool. You can feel a punch card machine like just hanging out right there. Oh, you got the a little market stall right here. How do you get in? How do you get in? Uh, is this like okay? There's no way in. There's just. You're just blocking off the entire little, little build here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh my. Death Ray Bug Zapper. 
Alright, this is actually not that bad. Alright, remember this is a pre-existing structure and it looks like, yeah, they got all sorts of goodies all up in here. Using, using everything really. Alright. So, we, you don't have much space, but you're, you're like throwing all sorts of things on all sorts of things to just make it. And you got all this. Yeah, this is not bad. This is not bad. Got all this. Uh, you got street corner salesman. Ooh, can I play? How's, how's this going to go? Oh, it's automatic. Okay. Gonna get a high score. Oh, uh, never mind. Alright. That happened. Guess I feel more aware now. Alright. Let's check out the top. It's, it's just full of decorations, and, and as it should be. This is actually pretty good. But I don't know how to how to rate a pre pre existing structure camp like this, considering that you have like a, a dead settler right here. And how much of this is actually? Yeah, you got this, this, all this. Yeah, it's just added. Uh, did I just get a little bit stuck? I did. Oh, wow. Guess I could take the typewriter. How about that? There's some looted rat eggs. Yeah. We got some berry mint hats. I think I will. I added a tree sap collector right here. Yeah, this is this is this is pretty good. I think there should be a lot more decoratives on the outside though. Maybe add some trees, some dirty trees. You know, maybe a few outside of enemies or whatever. Well, they even added this. This actually matches really well. Oh, they even got an outhouse. Hey, hey. And they got this. It looks nice in this area. Definitely. Oh, you got fertilizer here. Oh, wow. Uh, the only thing is, I don't know what's real. I just don't know what's real anymore. Pre-existing structure camp. I'm going to go ahead and throw this at a, at least a four as well. Between four and six, honestly, they, they did a really good job decorating it. Wish there was a little bit more, but they did add, add this. So Jimmy Gashi, you did pretty good. I, I think I think you did pretty good. All right, like, share, and subscribe. That's it for the day's video. I hope everybody had a good time. Uh, make, yeah, make sure you like the video. It's very important so we don't get ratioed or whatever they call it. If that's even a thing. And if you don't, and I'm not really worried about it. See you in the next one. And, and re remember, click the bell icon so you can catch me when I go live. We're, we're going to do all the Final Fantasies. Uh, of course, we got uh, Easter Mayhem coming up in a couple days for you Entropians out there. Don't know what Entropia is? It's a real cash economy game. Yeah, real cash, real money. You can even withdraw that money that you make in the game. It's kind of amazing. But uh, most people don't care about that. I'm leaving. Goodbye.